In this video, I am going to show you how to use Khan Academy for teaching math. Khan Academy is one of the largest resources on mathematics on the internet. They have a huge library of videos and math lessons and thousands of schools around the world both in advanced and developing countries are using Khan Academy in their math courses. And there are many reasons for using Khan Academy. Number one reason is that Khan Academy is completely free. It is a non-for-profit organization. Anyone can create a teacher or a student account and start learning or teaching mathematics. And I decided to make this video when recently I came to know that they are having a course mastery program which is a very personalized and self-paced training method for students and teachers can set goals for their students for learning specific skills. And there is a philosophy behind this. And another reason for using Khan Academy is that creating math resources is not easy. Salman Khan has put a lot of effort in developing this huge mathematics resource and we should get some benefit. Another very important reason you might use Khan Academy is that in developing countries, most schools, they cannot afford to pay for a learning management system because you need math contents and then you need a learning management system to deliver those contents to your student. And a good quality learning management system is expensive. Although there are some free alternatives and I have made few videos about those learning management systems which are free, which you can use. And one which I normally recommend is Canvas Instructure Learning Management System and the other one is Classflow. Although the learning management system on Khan Academy does not have a lot of features, but their contents are extremely high value and they have a huge resource of those content which makes Khan Academy superior than any other learning management system. And they are working hard and I'm sure that they will add few more features. The topics which I am going to cover in this video are listed on this slide and I will make few more videos. And I am really very excited to introduce to you Khan Academy's unit and course mastery program. This video might become a little longer, but I expect that if you are keen to teach mathematics, you will watch full video because not everything which you are going to learn can be placed on this single slide. So let's get started after a short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools available to teachers and students. And if you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. Once you have signed up with Khan Academy, you log in and you will see your name on the right hand side. I have created a teacher's account. And then there is a donate button where you can make donations for Khan Academy. On the left hand side, we have these courses. And when you click on these courses, you will see all the courses. And in this video, I'm going to take an example of mathematics course for grade seven. We call it year seven in Australia. And if you look here, there are two types of courses. You will see seventh grade, and get ready for seventh grade. So what is the difference? In get ready, students will learn those skills which they should have acquired before coming in grade seven. And grade seven is of course consist of the curriculum of grade seven. And both of these have skill levels which students need to master, which is called course mastery. And we are going to talk about this in a minute. And the best way to approach this is that whenever you start a new year, you start, of course, the course for that particular year. And also the get ready curriculum or the get ready skills for that particular grade. Because if students have forgotten something, those skills will be revised. And this is how I designed my course. So I click on my name and this is my course, Math Year 7. And the focus of this video is course mastery program. And the philosophy behind course mastery is that whenever student complete any grade, 
there are few gaps skill gaps which exist then they go to next grade and then there are also few gaps and these gaps accumulate and a stage comes for example there were few skill gaps in year 6 7 8 when the students reach grade 9 they don't have specific skills so they simply cannot absorb the new concepts presented to them in year 9 because they have not learned any prerequisite skills so then they face a roadblock so what course mastery program does is that student get a mastery in certain skills there are 0 to 100 marks and zero means no level then if they have attempted but they could not get any marks it is attempt then if they get 50% marks in certain skill set they are familiar with those skills then at 80% they become proficient and at 100% marks they become master so based on the prerequisites khan academy has designed quizzes test and challenges and when students perform these test challenges and quizzes they become proficient or master in certain skills so this is how this program works but the first thing is how to create a new class and how to enroll students to do that there is an arrow you click here and you click on create new class and now let us create a new class geometry grade 7 you can also import class from your google classroom and then you click next and now what i will do i will select 7th grade and get ready for 7th grade and then i will select high school geometry now the lesson will comprise those parts or those skills which students need before grade 7 in grade 7 and from geometry curriculum and then i click next you can skip this set section now there are three options you can invite your google classroom students i have made few videos on google classroom which you can watch then students can join using a link just like classflow and i have explained this thing in classflow lectures classflow uses a class code and then you can also create your students account and i think this is the best method and quick and easy method you just give your students their login details and they will be able to log in straight away so you click on that then you select the name of the student let's say student name and it will create a unique username for the student then you add another one let's say gul and it has created another username so for example i only have two students then i click next and now it has created a username and a password and then you click on create students and now as you can see that you must download this csv and you keep it safe because you won't be able to see these login credentials again because i am going to delete this anyway so i am not interested otherwise you should download this csv and i click skip and it will show me accounts created and now i click on see your class and both of my students are here so in this way you create a class and enroll your students and now if i click here i have these two classes this is my class code and let's say i want to change the name of this class then i click on settings and i can change the name here let's say i change it to trigonometry and then i click save so once you have created a class you can still edit it you can also change course let's say from geometry now i select trigonometry and i uncheck this because now i have changed the class and i click save now content will be presented to you based on this course which you have selected and now you have to set goals for your class and now i select my math class because in this class i have already included certain goals which i am going to show you and now let's start from this activity overview this is activity tab and these are my three students if i click on skills these are some of the skills from 7th grade which are included here i know the most important thing is setting goals for course mastery the skills which you want your students to master to do that you click on that and you click on placement i have placed three set of skills two from 7th grade curriculum and one from get ready for 7th grade curriculum if i want to place more skills i click on create goal 
and know which course I want, 7th grade or get ready for 7th grade and whether I want to assign it to any particular student, for example, one student is weak in some skills, I will assign only those skills to this student. Let us select all students and I select 7th grade and then I set a due date for students and I am going to show you my student account as well. So by default you will get a date which is 6 months ahead of today's date. So today is 18th of March, you will see 18th of September, you can change it and now let's say I click create goal. Now another goal has been created, now I click on this actions and I click on edit. You can click on these actions and you can delete this or you can edit this. And now to add assignments, I click on this assignments and then assign. And now I have to select whether I want assignments from 7th grade curriculum or from get ready for 7th grade. So let's, so I selected 7th grade and now I select one or two from here and then I click assign. And now it will show me that these assignments contain 78 items and these 78 items are basically small components of the curriculum for grade 7 which you will see in a minute. And now I have other options whether I want to give all students same questions or different questions and other options which I have discussed. I can assign right away or I can save and assign later. So let's assign right away. And if you click on this little arrow, you will see all the subset of these skills. And you can also assign any particular skill to a particular student. If you see the progress report and you see that this student is weak in for example adding and subtracting integers, you can assign this skill to a particular student. So in this way, you can click here and you can see the subset of all these skills. Now if I click on this scores, here you will see the scores of your students and if I click on manage, here I can see all the assignments, their due dates and there are some filters here. If I go down, I can go to the next page as well. If you have given a lot of assignment skills, you can see that. Now if I click on this progress, I can see the progress and I can select any of these two and now I am logged in with my student credentials in Khan Academy and this is my student dashboard and because I have done few quizzes which I am going to show you in a minute. So it is showing me that I have got 130 out of 1900 total points and I have achieved 7% mastery in these skills. So these are the skills if I scroll down these are various skills assigned to me by my teacher. Now this violet color shows that I have attempted this skill. I might have done some quiz or some challenge or something and grade means that I have not done anything. So let us click on this and it will show me this area. As you can see that you can also scroll if you look on the right hand side, you have all your learning material. For example, for this skill, I can watch these videos, I can practice and there are some articles for some skills. So for this skill, I can watch these three videos and then I can practice. So let us click on this and it will show me a video on this particular component of grade 7 curriculum. And then I can click on next video, it will show me the next video and so on. Once I have watched the video, I can close this and now it will show me this little mark that I have watched the video and now let us practice and now you will see practice questions. At the lower left corner you have this pencil and there are some colors available. So let us select any answer and see whether it's correct or wrong. You select answer, you click check and if the answer is correct it will show you uh, this and if the answer is wrong it will show you some other message. Once you are done you can close this. Then there is quiz available, you can start a quiz once you have practiced, it will show you that there are 7 questions, this is the time expected, you can start doing this quiz. So let's randomly select few answers, you select answer, you go to next, let's put something here, 
next question let's put something whatever move on select any answer and now i click show summary now this is the summary of my quiz and now i can click done and my teacher will be able to see my progress and now i am in my teacher's account and now in the score area i can see that this student has got some score so this was a brief overview of how to use khan academy for teaching math i have shown you some very basic features how to get started with khan academy as a school or as a private tutor or if you are a home schooling parent you can use khan academy's math resources for your students or children and khan academy has designed these courses based on the curriculum for those grades common core syllabus whatever is in us and these are the skills which are written here and these skill sets are part of that curriculum and this course mastery program is highly personalized for individual students and what they suggest is that every day you dedicate 45 minutes of your students and ask them to do this self paced learning but the important point here is that expectations are very high they will get the mastery at at least 90% of score if not 100% so this is the expectation there will still be some small gaps in their skills but if you keep doing this every year starting from year 6 or 7 then hopefully when they reach the final years of their high school they will be very competent in mathematics if you have any questions you can put in the comments and i hope that you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time